guys, I am here, and I wanted to make this video real quick because I've been saying for a while how I was going to do a video uh, showing off my bass guitar, my four string, my five string. Uh, I'm going to do it right now because I feel like I need to. Alright, so what, I'm going to show my four string um, in this video. My five string, I will show that off when I fix it because right now the um, nut, I think it's called. The, 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 the thing at the top of this thing right here, this thing up here, what's in here, yeah, it needs some work. I can't run it right now. So when I get that done, I'll show it off in a video. Right now, I'm just going to force the ring. I'm going to take off the uh, cord. i show it off for you guys. This is a silver tone. As you see it there, company silver tone. It's a silver string, four string, um, revolver bass guitar. I think, I'm pretty sure it's called a revolver bass. Uh, if you go on the website, I don't know if they have it anymore in stock. Unless it's coming with like a package and stuff, like you know, the case and the amp and everything. I don't remember if they sell them by themselves anymore. Uh, you can go look though if you want. Um, it costs around, I think, $200. I got it for Christmas in the Christmas of 2010, so I don't remember um, how much it was. For a $200 base, it is really good. Um, if you guys can look down the uh, thing right there, if I can do it correctly, you can't really see it, but it's just the um, when I got the God knows what's called adjusted. The strings had very little buzz when I used the pick. See, I use a pick when I play, kind of that's what I do. And there's much less buzz. It's a little bit right there, but not a lot. If you can even hear it, I'm sorry. I'll turn my amp up a little bit so you can hear. Oh, I also want to show my amp on this video real quick too. The amp that I use is this big one right here. It's a Fender Rumble 150. If you can see it, um, bass amp. Has overdrive volume, a decibel thing right here. If you can see my finger, you can. Uh, the gain blend for is took this button right here, and it. Uh, oh wait, I, I took the cord out. Um. Um. As you see, the overdrive you can just miss this to make it different and to disable just the button. Simple as that. Punch and scoop for like slap and all that. I just say that I use. I just push that one in and keep this one out. I think it's like a deep sound, which uh, sounds good for me. Cause without it, it sounds kind of like I don't know. It sounds like uh, I just don't know the word for it, but it just sounds sounds good. It's just it's like a lower thing because the bass and stuff. And I work. If I sound really jumbled, I apologize. It's totally off the top of my head. Uh, equalizers, bass, low, mid, high, mid, and treble. Uh, FX loop for whatever, headphones, foot switch, line out horn, body, body, blah, and power control there. It's pretty big, it's 150 watts, obviously, so I guess I shot my amp there. I should probably should have done it in the video myself, but oh well. Um, so you see right here, it has stickers on it, because I like to put stickers on my car. It's an Iron Maiden one right here, too, actually. As you see, it's, uh, I think it's got bolts on, let me do this. It's got this kind of, I don't know what this is. Like I said, if you buy this tar, I'll probably show you. Um, this is the type of I currently have with it. It's black and it's, uh, it's from Guitar Works. I used to use the one over there on my 5 string. I put my 5 string now because I got this one recently. And, yeah. Pegs look like this. On the back, look like that. Uh, I like the head this, actually. I like how it's case itself has two pickups right there and there um, three knobs volume I think it's volume this one's uh, this one's tone this one's tone and this one I have no idea what this one is actually I fiddle around with it this one's gonna change the volume music whatever that much I don't use it that much it has 22 frets I believe 13 22 15, 17, 19, 22, yep, 22 frets, uh, E, A, D, G, the strings I use are Ernie Ball, super stringy bass strings, I don't remember the gauges on them, if I had the package for me, I would show you guys, uh, but I don't, um, what was I gonna say, I think that's it, you know, it's, uh, bass, if you have fingers, I, I put, I usually do this right here, but right in the middle too, because up here it's harder to like anchor my thumb on there, and down here it kind of sounds like that. And that's about it. I can't really think of anything else to say about this. It's a good, it's a guitar. If 
you're like looking for a really cheap guitar, around 200 bucks that plays good, uh, it's kind of hard to use this thing for uh, lower tunings. Like the lowest I'll ever go with this thing is C, and it's about five kill crazy. But I just use this thing in drop D and standard and half set down, and once in a while I'd C sharp. Um, that thing I just keep B and lower. And if I had to put it in C, if I, if I had to put a guitar in C, I would put the four strings that one down to C, or I'll just tune to C because YOLO. But I usually don't um, tune this thing down too low because it's, I don't think it's made for lower tunings. Not like Schecter or an ESP four strings, which are much easier to tune down to and stuff. <laughs> if I'm good or not, because that's, yeah. Grab it, oh, I hear it. Okay, I'm just going to stop right there, because I, I, I don't know why I can't remember that song. Um, so yeah, Silvertone, Revolver, Four String Bass, uh, 200 bucks. Pretty good, actually, for a uh, $200 base. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching this stupid-ass video. I'll see you guys next time when I probably will do a cover or my other guitar. Bye.